Well, hey there. It's been a minute, hasn't it? It's been a minute since we've given you any food truck, food trailer updates. Really haven't done a whole lot. I have been so, so busy with so much other stuff. But today, today, we're jumping back on. I say we, me and the missus here, we're going to get to cleaning. You really, you're going to see her lovely hands and stuff. She don't like to be on camera. So, we're going to get to cleaning. And we're going to continue where we left off. You know, we got the griddle all good and clean. You know, we got the hood clean. We got to clean these burners. We got to clean this nasty oven and everything associated with that. Might even get into this fryer today. I don't know. We might. We might. But either way, hope you're enjoying these food trailer updates. Uh, we got a lot more coming. We got a lot more cleaning to do. As you see back here, we got to wipe everything down, put up new lights, do all kind of things. Got a lot of things going on. Uh, if you want to keep up with the progress, not only here, but on other places, be sure to check out our Facebook, our Instagram, our, we're even on threads now. We're everywhere. So we'd love to have you over there also. We got a lot of pictures that go up on those sites that you don't normally see here on Facebook. So if you want to keep up with other ways to keep up with us, or have other ways to keep up with us, I should say, check us out over there. But right now, we got to get into cleaning because this thing's a mess. I think we're going to lay this divider down and work on these uh, burner plates. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay, that's what we're doing. Yeah, okay, those things are nasty. Ew. Speaking of nasty. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering, that is the tray that slides out here. So that's our grease tray. But even up under it, as you can see, is really, really bad. So what we're going to do is attempt to take these burners here out. And they should just lift out, I'm hoping, from what I've seen online. And we can get down in here and really clean good. That's what we're after. And then we're going to also soak these over here and get a lot of that grease and stuff off of them. So that's what we're going to work on right now. And we got some of this industrial degreaser. Not that spray now we've been using, but more for a uh, food truck applications. And we're going to just spray this down and let it soak for a little bit. Because, yeah, take you over here to this one. Look at the gunk that built up on these things. Ooh, that stuff's strong. Yeah. Ooh. I might need to open this back door. Yeah, that's pretty strong there. I might turn this vent fan on above us. We do have the doors over here open. And the windows open. But man, that stuff is strong. Uh, now we got the hood fan going now. Even though we have the doors open and the windows open and fans and stuff going. Man, this is some strong stuff right here. Now this pan here, like I showed you, we can pull this out, clean this up, but that underneath it, ooh, it's nasty. So, ooh, that's even worse, I didn't see that. Wow. What you can do is just spray it on down with some of the degreaser. Let's get it all cleaned up. Won't be long, it's going to look that pretty. I hope it is anyhow. I don't know if that stuff's supposed to foam up or it's foaming up just because it's reacting to all that grease. But yeah, it's doing something down in there.
Wow, it took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, but man, what a difference this has made. Look, look how much clearer my wife has got this. One thing I can say is when it comes to cleaning, she gets kind of picky. Can't be nasty. If you're going to cook on it, it just can't be nasty. Now we've got to work on these burners here and get all this crew and all these cleaned up so we can get it all put back together. But man, I can't get over how much better all of this is looking right now. If we keep this up, it won't be long. We'll be slinging burgers out these windows right here. Maybe some little dogs too. Time to try to clean these burners now. Got them scrubbed down and cleaned up pretty good. Got them out here in this hot Carolina sun. As you can see, man, they are looking a lot better. I mean, all that gunk is gone now. Looking really good. So now we're just going to let them sit out here and bake in the sun for hours. Make sure all of the moisture is out of them. Well, y'all, looking at the oven racks and how clean they are without being touched, I don't think the oven has ever been used, but we're going to wipe it out anyhow. I mean, it looks really, really clean in here, but it wouldn't hurt to have a good cleaning. Wipe it down. Go on and get it while we're in here. Well, as far as them burner grates go, we got them soaking. We figured the best thing to do is bring them out here to the trailer and try to pressure wash them. Well, I 
think overall the pressure washer did pretty doggone good. We let them soak for a little while with that degreaser. And yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to kind of oil them back down and quote unquote re-season them, but we're not done cleaning them yet. I think we're gonna take them back inside now and just kind of give them a good final scrubbing. Because if you look, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's still some gunk kind of down in there a little bit. We want to scrape up. We're gonna spray it down again with some more degreaser, kind of help loosen up anything that might be left. And then we'll probably go back with like a, a putty knife or something. Scrape all the rest of it up. Press it one more time and let them drop. I guess I should be about it. Well, we have resorted to a wire brush now. It seems to be working pretty good. So now we have given them a final rinse. I think they turned out pretty clean. What y'all think? Compared to what they were. So now we just have all the parts laying out here on the trailer. Letting everything dry in this hot Carolina sun. It is hot today. Once everything dries out really good, we'll put it all back together. Give y'all one more view before we put everything together. How much clean everything out. Now this here is just the divider, the fryer, and we are going to get to that. But where these burners were at, man, what a difference than when we first took all them burners and stuff out. I mean, this whole unit was really, really looking better. Look how much better that looks in there now. Oh yeah, it's going to be nice when it's all put back together. It's all dried up now, so now we're going to put everything back together. So we're going to put all the stuff back on the burners. Get the burners put back in place over there. It won't be long. This unit here will be finished up. Wow, look how different that looks right there. Yeah, buddy, that's a lot better. It has been a hot day, but my wife, I have to thank her first and foremost for all the cleaning she's been doing while well, I've been doing a lot of videoing because she don't like to be on video, so she said she'd rather do the cleaning and let me do the videoing, but I have been helping out here and there. I don't think she did everything, but she's done a lot. Thank you. Uh, I have to thank Mr. Beast and Shopify. If y'all happen to see this by any chance, thank you for everything. We're one day closer. We're one thing closer. To be able to open now. Uh, hope you're enjoying these these updates we're doing. These kind of bringing it along on journey that we're going. Hopefully we'll have more and get it done quicker. We need to get this thing open and start slinging burgers and dogs and stuff out of these windows here. But as you can see, it is really starting to come along now. I mean these burners look so much better. And Norton's fryer over here. We're gonna work on that in a minute. But this whole unit. It's just really looking better now. So I have one more thing to ask you, and that's if you have any experience on a food truck trailer or whatever, uh, give me some tips and tricks. I'm, I'm, I'm new to this. I'm just kind of going as I go, watching videos, asking for advice or whatever, and I appreciate all the help. I really do. Hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, please hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, ring that bell notification because there's going to be a lot more content coming off this food truck. Not only cooking that we're going to continue doing, but a lot more food trailer content too. If you enjoy that, you want to stick around. And with that, hope you enjoyed this little update and we'll see you next time.